Hey all, this is Urson, and welcome back. Welcome back to the joy that is Civ 5 in TSL form with Sargon of Akkad. We are in a very temporary, I'm sure, phase of peace. We're gonna get some signs of these trade routes. And we're sending it to our uh, frenemy here. Primarily because it is unlikely he's gonna dow us. We are friends with Sibir. I am glad he's unlikely to dow us. Uh, at this point, so because uh, he's so weak compared to us, so I don't think that that's a major risk sending that route, and it's relatively protected, which is why I did so. I didn't send it to Sweden because Sweden's going to try to murder us, and there's a chance barbarians will run in and, and take the route anyway, which would be an irritation to say the least. Now I do have T still as an undeveloped. We are friends, yay! Yeah, the the whole blank screen is a thing when you have more than twenty two sieves, I think. Um, at twenty three, it kind of goes. <coughs> And uh, we have problems, so. Or, or whatever the maximum limit is. There's an issue, basically. Uh, enemy has been spotted near Akkad. I know, I know. He's been there for a while. He hasn't done shit. I'm not worried. Uh, next. Huaka, huaka. Nutsi. Uh, you need to keep growing, so we're going to help you grow. As much as I want that worker to come and fetch you. Uh, put some turns to the library, okay? That worker's going to be a while. We'll get him out eventually. It didn't hurt to get that rep, but it's all right. Granary, and we'll do library next. Perfect. Wait, do barracks meet science? What the fuck? Oh, encourage military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. How close are we to getting the thingy? I mean, here we're a little low on face. Seventy-seven. That uh, decision. Where's the E and D? There. We can establish the posts, but caravansaries. I mean, if we ever, ever want to build caravansaries, it is a source of extra happiness. So that's not too bad. And gold. Army of Nadam seen 400 and so we have the gold. We don't have the faith yet, but I will grab. Um, I think I'd rather grab the Pantheon first. 90 faith is required, at least to have something resembling a Pantheon for at least a little bit. I know this is not gonna be a long term thing. We the movement does make this easier in Civ 5 versus Civ 6. That's definitely true. Thanks for asking. Um, here you're gonna go east and clear some ways. You're here already. It's fine here. Uh, I'm super. Thanks for asking. Oh, here. You're coming here, right? All right. Go there. That's fine. Take you a couple turns. That's what the roads are going to be for once we get around to doing them. I think the next production here is going to be uh, population. <laughs> if we're going to get... Uh, what are we doing? I was going to make something there, but I forgot. Oh, hi, Johor Baru. Oh, the Malaysians are here. Mal Malaysia is here. Wow, they're... Okay, I really need to settle the city, like, ASAP. Like, buy a settler? How much does that cost me now? Expensive is the answer. Jeebus. How much time does it take to build one of these? Twelve. That ain't bad, especially given that, um... You... Yeah, you can go piss yourself, okay? Okay, pumpkin? Because I don't like you. And that's not full value. I have two perfumes, though. Ah, I have two. They're, they're doubles. Shit. I'm going to sell this to my friend. All right, fine. I'm going to sell this to my friend later. Ideally, someone who has a resource I can exploit. Now kiss. All right. Friend. I think you will give me full value for this. Uh, uh, uh. I don't have a lot of GPT. See, this deal I'm not so excited about... I'm not so excited about that. Someone got a statue of Zeus. Grad Zeus. Would you have enough GPT to pay me worthwhile for this? Close. The six plus uh Einen Horsen. No, I don't need really horses. I need one iron though. Would that work for you? Hey! Hassan! Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. That's actually a big help. Uh, religion enhanced. So, so much for the Pantheon. That ain't happening no more. So, we'll go and pop that army up. Um, those things... Those things... God, such an asshole. Uh, those... Those... Uh, spearmen actually do uh, help me generate uh, improvements faster. It's one of their abilities. Right, I'll take a bit of a pounding here. 
but I do want to get this city down right there. I think that'll be fine. I get ivory, I get incense. I don't get the marble, which is a minor issue. Uh, but the question is, do I want marble more or do I want the observatory? And then maybe we can f backfill a city in here or f forward fill, I guess. Oh, it'll be tough to fill. We're spreading out uh, that way. That's fine. Cheese production here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I need to get the settler up. Seven turns for settler. I think that's too long. Yeah, work this instead. If you wish I finished this damn mine. Nine is a lot faster. Okay, let's kick this in. Let's go into production mode. How much production mode do we have? Still nine. Eight. Okay, that improves, despite the, the financial cost to us. This improve? I don't think this does. No, it slows it down, actually. All right, so that'll work. Oh, can you do it? Eight to eight. Okay, it doesn't matter, so leave it the way it is. So eight turns. That's pretty quick. Uh, we'll focus that down. You are rough terrainy. You are just a little zany. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, you're coming up here. You're, you're this guy. You are this guy. Yeah, you're still doing that. You are this guy, I think, now that you're healthy. Onager's hoe. Uh, you're here. You are going to move out as soon as that guy's ready to do stuff. You are going to go ahead and repair a bunch of this. Um, repair that. Repair that. You are our scout archer, so you can go in here. You're going to be likely the long-term garrison for Akkad at this point. Hey, we actually have enough archers for all this, which is nice. I thought I overbuilt, but I'm actually just spot on. I'm actually going to be one short once I settle in a new city. Look at me talking about settling as if I have a settler to settle it with. Oh my god, I'm such a prick. All right, um, next. I guess you have, oh, you actually have a, I actually have a coast in this little inland sea. I'm going to own this inland sea, actually. I'm going to put just ships up in here just for fun. What a pile of ship. All right, uh, hey, good job. We have another Lux. We're at 11 happiness. This is really good. We're working tiles that we did not improve, which is not so good. Uh, we can do that for a farm, border in 16, uh, I don't need to improve any of these hill tiles yet, what I can do is go down to Marad, and upgrade, uh, the, the thingy here, now the only danger is I don't have anything spot in here for barbs, I'm not sure if they tell us automatically in revealed terrain, like in Civ 6, or if that's a thing that we get from Honor, I don't remember, in Civ 5, god, it's just tough to keep all these games straight, with similar yet different mechanics, yeah, good luck. There is a barbarian camp, like the archer will handle it, no biggie. But still. Uh, I'm going to need definitely to build walls, though, soon. In Kish, for certain. Um, I guess I'm relatively certain we'll build its own walls. And then, uh, Sipar and Nutsi. I think Sipar probably would be the more at risk, given that there's ships, potentially. I mean, Nutsi, they have to get around um, Sinai, and we can stop them before they do that. So from a tactical perspective, that's fine. Oh, I need to improve this, man. You guys are growing. These people are shagging like like absolute animals, man. I love it. <sighs> it does give me uh, more science eventually. Nadim. Ah, shoot. He got me. Sooner than I expected, he settled the city there. So now we got to revise. I can't settle here anymore. So if I can't get that um, city... It would likely make sense for me to get something out here. Um, lock this in, get all three Luxes. It's okay. Like I said, this fresh water is not as big a deal as in Civ 6. I wonder if I should just buy this so it gets less land. Being an irritation is expensive, but I think I need to buy it. Just to block him a little more. Then we'll try to get the settler out there. I have a feeling we might get into a tiff. I forgot copper's actual lux. Yeah. <laughs> in Civ, um, Civ, not this Civ. It's not a lux, so. Here, getting, getting. Getting not good, thank you. Good. Go in here and finish that mine. Oh, mine! Alright, uh, onagers, right. We're getting there. God damn. It's taking a while. Go here. No matter what, this is going to take just quite some time. All right, onagers go east because I have a feeling we might get into a fight with Siberian soon. Even though we're bros, I think 
territorial issues are gonna structure and control our relationship moving forward. Just my suspicion, though. <laughs> I think I'm right. Still have enough for the army, which is good. Uh, the faith is coming in nice now. Should be fine. So we can't get... The reason this is not counting down to anything, because we can't get prophets, we can't found a religion, we can't get a pantheon anymore, so... Uh, it's alright. No biggie. Didn't really need a, need a pantheon that early. I do like the one thing about Civ uh, 6, that pantheons stay for the entire game. It's quite uh, quite useful, actually. I like that a lot. You never lose that initial... One could say like that... Um, that kind of cultural slash... I don't know. The way to put it, it's almost like half cultural, half religious kind of I mean, ethnic trait, I guess, in, in a way. Like, I, I kind of look upon it like that. And I like that that stays, you know, that kind of, uh, that legacy. I do appreciate that kind of mechanic. So I am definitely going to drop a city here, though. This needs to be locked in. I need to control this space. And this is a really good way to forestall an invasion uh, by getting bombardment capability out this way. So that's probably important. By getting the marble this way, Pretty confident. I might be able to drop another city here if I'm being particularly greedy. That would likely piss off the Bhutanese and the Malaysians. And it wouldn't get me much. But it could give me a way to expand east. So something for something, I guess. What do we just get? Sorry, I totally flaked. Um, masonry. Found masonry. Okay, good. Uh, math or sailing? I don't think we have, we don't have any horses anywhere, do we? No, we do have it up here in Kish. Uh, one, two, three. So I'm saying it that way just to be annoying. Yeah, we got two horses in Kish, but that's luckily we have a donkeys for donkey patrol, so we don't need horses for that. Donkey, donkey patrol. Um, yeah, definitely need walls in Sipat, I think. We'll need walls in Akaz, and we'll need walls in whatever the city is, because that's going to be a flashpoint for conflict. All right, so do we go into classical or do I just get sailing? Let's get sailing to backfill. I want to try room so I can explore the ocean blue. And those of you will need to build something anyway. I am going to definitely keep an eye on all this here. Glad the Abedians held this um, for now. Uh, you are done repairing that. Go ahead and repair that. You're almost here. Almost to the city. Do you get... No defense. You don't get defense terrain bonuses. That's kind of lame. I mean, it still blocks in and prevents them from doing stuff, but I need to get them, uh, infantry there. Alright, no worries. For now, you will hold. Okay, you finish this already? No, you didn't. You need to finish that. Like you. Uh, go east. Because this is going to get contentious real quick. And demand instance. We're actually... If we settle the city, we'll be able to get incense. We also have incense there. So really, the only lux we'd be getting from here is ivory and marble, which is fine. I mean, that's two luxes for that city is good. I'm sad about not being able to get um, the uh, the observatory, but how can I say? I'm, I'm kind of surprised when he settled it here. I figured settling here would be stronger, because here he can actually get the incense as well and double copper. I guess he wanted less desert terrain, which is not necessarily wrong. I know the AI is terrible at settling good cities sometimes, but this one's actually not too bad. If I do get into a fight with him, I'll definitely try to acquire that. Uh, because that's a pretty good leapfrog over here. And it looks like the mountains are going to keep me pretty safe going into Surgut. Looks like... I don't know. I mean, I can't really tell how this wraps around. But either way, the terrain would help me here. So, wh what? I thought the turn was turning over. God damn it. We good yet? What? You. Yes, do that. Are we good now? <laughs> I thought the turn was turning over as I'm explaining this stuff. And it's like, no. We're going to make you look stupid. Uh, that's fine. I understand. Who turns to Golden Age? Yeah, so I think that's what that tells me. That's pretty good. 14 happiness is a lot. I mean, that's we're doing really well on happiness, which is good. We're pretty luxury rich, which is lucky for the start. Um, I almost wonder if I should knock over Dormus. Because the this particular city-state... I mean, they're not great because they just provide food. They don't have any unique luxes. That'd be the really the main reason I want to keep a city seat around. Like the cultural ones or lux ones are my two favorites by far. The military ones have their use. Sort of walls here. I, I told you, puppets love to build walls. We got promotion. Uh, here the fight might actually be in the open a bit, so I'm going to promote you open wise. Have you per um, heal a bit? 
I need you to get up here and kind of control this space. I just make sure there's no settlers coming from the, the Butanese. We have five turns this guy kicked. Why is it five again? Wasn't it five last turn? Am I hallucinating a bit? Maybe. Highly possible. What ended? Peace treaty with Carl ended. All right. Well, that'll probably happen again at some point. So I didn't trade with him. But you can stay here. <laughs> with the open terrain bonuses fighting in <laughs> the not-so-open terrain. Good on you, boy. Uh, get up here and get me a vision. Yeah, you are there. You're cute. Just taking this would give me two unique luxes, wouldn't it, too? It would give me coffee and it would give me wine. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't want to take one more, actually. Shit. What does that, like, piss off all the city-states for good? I don't remember. I feel like that would be a much better city under my control than under someone else's. That's not so greedy. It also gives me six iron. Oh, man. Almost is looking like a really good prize right now. Yeah, yeah they might die soon. Um, okay. Kish, you can get out of there and work that because that's actually money now, which is good. You do need. Well, I'm gonna, probably going to go ahead and improve this silk while I still am able to safely. Repair that. Yeah, I'm going to repair that as well. What are you working? Unclear. Oh, you can't see what they're working. That's right. It's a puppet. They make their own decision. All right. Uh, yeah, th <laughs> the Wallachians picked the fight with the wrong people. I'm just saying. How are we ahead? So far, we have the lead with three techs. Right, that's cool. Great rider and a trade route. Okay, we can do that pretty easy. You want a tra sea trade route to their city, to Monaco. Where is Monaco? Hmm. Can I get it from Argus? I don't think I can get it from Argus. I can get it from Sipar, maybe, actually. Wait, we had an option, though, right? It was the trader that was available. Yeah, Sipar to Monaco. Yeah. Okay, we need we need sailing. We're getting there, actually. We won't have another trade route for a little while, I don't think. We won't have another trade route till... Engineering. No, no, sailing. Ah, voila. No, we do have one. Okay, perfect. So we can do a sea route from Sipar to Monaco. And that's a cultural city-state, so that's a good... Um, that's a good benefit there. It's hostile. It'll be tough to retain. All right, what's this? New decisions available. Summon an army of not on sin. Ooh, we can do it now. That's dope. That would definitely help us out from the don't mess with me or I will end you kind of discussion. Should we enact our first decision? I think we should. It's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, honestly, we don't need any magistrates, so a strong military is necessary to protect our people at home and to be victorious abroad. Agreed. Let us call the mighty and well-trained armies of Naram Sin to our aid. So we need to be us. Can't be after the classical. We're not even in the classical yet. Um, may only be enacted once per game. Two Andre wagons to Lapatuz. Beautiful. Go. Sick. All right, so now our military has gone up. This is our special spearmen. They, uh, help things work. Faster, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check Laputu, not Lapatu. Sorry. Just double check. Laputu. Ah, voila. Uh, only Akkad may build it. He increases improvement speed and tiles of station on. Yeah, so these guys will be using to speed production of that, let's say. Onagers, where we need onagers. Let me get an onager up here. Support's always good to that frontier. Which is good to this frontier too, because I, I really, I mean, I know they're friendly, but I really don't trust the Siberians. They've killed me, tried to kill me. They haven't killed me. We killed them last time. But they've tried to kill me a lot. Like, lots. Come up here. Now, Laputa can go there. Um, for that. I might want to get that guy in here, actually, but I don't know. Wow, someone's really reformed Shinto already. Who's who's the Who's got the Shinto religion? Uh, Shinto is, I think, that would be the Ainu, if I'm not mistaken. They start near Fuji, Yama, which makes a lot of sense. I know I'm not moving my scout anywhere right now. That's you know, kind of intentional. I want to I wanna watch for settlers. Obviously, it's going to slow me down in attempting to, uh, to get anywhere, but... Uh, yeah, I just want to hold this tile. Hold this land. Make sure nobody takes it. This guy's not complaining about military being near him, which is good. I think if, when I settle the city and buy this tile, he's going to get super pissed. So that's what I'm definitely planning on doing. I want to make sure he doesn't have an easy way past this mountain. 
have to fight for every inch. But he might get this tile before I'm able to. Uh, unless he expands out toward the oasis. It's highly possible, but if he's he's have intelligent, he'll buy that tile. And then maybe even buy that so he blocks me off a bit. Archer? Makes sense. We're chill now, though, so... Yeah, alright, so I mean, we have a lot of positives and not a lot of negatives. Golden age, there is no other! Alright, um... Walls, yes. I do need walls there. <sighs> what else? What are you doing? Do I gave you a task already? Okay, I should have. You're going north, I think, yeah. Get everyone a task already. So who needs actual orders? Let's just be smart about this. Okay. Peek there. Not much. Coat Z's got money, but not much. Peek there. Oh yeah. All right, perfect. Uh, we'll keep an eye there for settlers now, so that should be fine. Uh, yep. You are going east for me. Double up on this uh, placement. So we have two, three onagers out here, one north, one west. So we have five onagers in total. Not bad. Plus that, plus golden age, give us extra money. So this is all, all well and good. <laughs> two turns for the mine. That'll speed things up. Yeah, mine, my mine's good. Mine's good. And uh, you just hang here for a turn until that mine's done. Protecting the gusa. I don't particularly care. You don't pay for this. You're a prick. Goodbye. Don't like you. How'd you ask Mon Monaco from Tribute? You're not even close to them, whatever. They lie. Hmm. I'm eventually gonna need a uh, beverage. Upgrades to composites. Oh, that's gonna be a thing. Terracotta army. I'm not getting any wonders. That's normal. Uh, and this difficulty level, that's totally normal. How do you have so many points? Do you have a religion or something? No, you don't. It's odd for him because he's kind of religious based sick. Alright, Adios has grown. Well, I don't control where these guys go, so it's fine. You finish your library. That was fast. Let's get the walls up. Um, and we'll start on the walls and then we'll go to a trade route to Monaco, hopefully. All right, let me just quickly take a peek over here. I don't think there's anything of value. Let me just double check. Uh, repair that, thanks. I've pitched a lot of that land. Uh, keep an eye, make sure there's no settlers coming. That's fine. I want to move any further. No, I want that tile if I can settle it, so it's fine. Good. Uh, you're good here, yep. Yep, okay, good. And you can wait there while this guy finishes the mine in a turn. Well, let's just do this now. Speed. I mean, we're not going to get a turn off of the settler on that, but it's not too late. Now, kiss. We get some production toward this um, this wall as well, which is going to be helpful. I just want to make sure that my borders are protected. Like Nutsi, <laughs> Nutsi's definitely looking, staring down some Egyptian aggression potentially, but I don't really think she has a chance. We can react quickly if necessary. If they get in the water, they're totally boned, so it'll be alright. I'm wondering if I maybe over oversaturated the onagers here. I should have one down in the desert. I think that's actually correct. I'm gonna bring this guy back. A to, to fog bust and B to make sure nothing funky happens down there. My internal power is strong. Uh yeah, just go down here for now. Just go there in a couple turns. Uh you're gonna change production to a cargo ship, and then we'll do walls later. Says the dead guy. <laughs> uh, now we can go into the classical era. I suppose we can get optics if we want. We can embark. Do we have a lot of... Wait. Plus some production from sea resources. Do we have a lot of sea resources around? Not really. No, not really. So lighthouses don't help us too much. I mean, if we settle something down here, we might have might have a claim. But not really feasible. Got a library in 13. Ugh. Might have... Finally gonna grow. Alright, cool. Well, if you're done here, do another Lux that we don't have yet, which is that one. That one. Alright, research then. Uh, so what do we do? Uh, trapping into horseback riding or mathematics. I think mathematics or construction. 
if we're not under immediate threat of invasion, which I don't think we are. Hi, Sweden. So what is he doing? We got the horses just in time. So that probably pissed him off a bit. He's going to come out here and piss off the Siberians, which is fine with me. He wants the wine. Yeah, I, I'm definitely on which is going down, man. I think that would be a good addition to our empire. So let me go ahead and grab the caddies. And then we'll grab construction in that order. I think that's the most sensible right now. Just so we can defend ourselves somewhat. Then we'll figure out what the hell to do from there. But I think Ordemus is going down. It would be very beneficial. All right. So you can come here now and do the olives. Same deal. We're fine. Very good. All right, and we have a settler next turn ready to do what we need and expand the great empire of the Acadians. Quite, quite, quite. Are you going north? Please, I'm going north. You're going north. Good. Yep, you're going there. Perfect. Okay, so we have a little bit of a front there. You just hang while that guy improves and go. All right, so far, so interesting. If I can get that city down, I'd be pretty happy. That's a kind of a key now. Then getting Ormus with a couple catapults would be easy. Uh, taking it would be a nice advantage. Two more Luxes, a lot of iron, and absolute control of the Raven Peninsula. That's probably the right move. I normally don't beat up city-states, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Now, I'll probably piss off whom? I will piss off the Siberians, but I me mean, thinks we're going to get into a tiff anyway. Yeah, we're going to get into a, a mighty, mighty fearsome tiff pretty soon. You'd go there. However fast you need to do that, do that. And I have this feeling we're going to get into a bit of a fight with these guys. Send you east before we all die. Inaugurates. All right, Productione. Finish the Settler. Awesome. Do library. But first, I want this liberated into that. Ten turns plus a crap ton of production. Sounds good to me. Are we not getting the other... No, we're not. Oh, it's too far out to work. Far out, man. All right. Uh, faster improvement speed and a free worker. Probably a good thing. Free culture building would get me... Um, the next one up, which would be free uh, amphitheaters. I don't know if I remember I need the tech for this or not. Maybe I don't, actually. But, I mean, as interesting as that would be, that's a good just nail it thing. Yeah, I remember all this, yeah. yeah. Uh, I do want this to get the next policies cheaper, and the meritoxy will be a good bonus. Let's go ahead and do this. We ha we're actually doing pretty good on... um. On everything, really. We're doing pretty good on happiness. So we don't need to worry about that too much. I think improving the land in Sipot is probably the next best move I have. Because Akkad, do we have improved tiles to work yet? Yeah, we do. We need to improve that farm. Let's improve this farm real quick, and then we'll do um, Sipot. Okay, so that's done. That's done. That's done. You can go ahead and improve this. We can trade that for someone for money. Cash money. All right. Please piss off the Siberians. I would like that. Take the tension off me a little bit. All right, I'm probably going to call it there for now, folks. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of our Civ 5 TSL as Sargon of Akkad. If you did enjoy the episode, do consider leaving a like. It does help the channel get noticed, affects them YouTube search metrics, and helps us have a good time so you can see more of this good stuff. So until then, I've been Urs. See you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Till then. Bye now.